We're back at Whole Foods in Omaha, Nebraska. There's no vegan food. Well, I see a lot actually. Even the broccoli's not vegan. Why? I don't know. It's like rendered in duck fat. Look, they put cheddar on the uh, broccoli. They've had these same curries, these same exact curries for as long as I've lived here. Plus, are they vegan? I mean, is it vegan if you've had it for four years and haven't changed it? No. Vegan. What about over here? I see oh, some yeah, vegan things want, right here. If you want carrot shreds, maybe. But but maybe some cheddar will get into your roasted red pepper. See how the how the mozzarella is going, or whatever that is. I don't even know names of cheeses. I'm so vegan. I don't know what cheeses are called. Oh, you know what's delicious? Um, cold. Freezing cold beyond meat. The eggs in the tofu and the eggs in the lemon quinoa. That's so not even good, if guys. It was vegan, now there's blue cheese in it. All the vegan stuff should probably be on the same part. Oh, hey, can I tell you what they did to me once? So I tweeted them once and I was like, why do you have vegan? Like, why don't you have more vegan things? Because there's lots of vegans here and we'll all eat it. So instead of putting more vegan stuff, they put vegan labels on everything that was vegan, including like iceberg lettuce, olives. They put a vegan label on it. And then they're like, see, we have 20 vegan things. So if you want iceberg and iceberg lettuce and olives and that's what you want to eat, then this is a really good place to come. Everybody in Whole Foods has blue hair. Wait. Everybody has blue hair where? So it looks like they have a lot of tofu here. How come you hate my face being in it? Nah, I'm showing it. Is something wrong with my face? It's like, where's, where's the camera? How do I eat this? Because if you're looking over here. How do I eat this? There's a lot of vegan stuff here, but it's all cold. What's wrong with it being cold? Because like, the vegans deserve warm food. So here's my trick for making the disgusting cold things they right. try and feed vegans warm from the hot bar. Okay. All right. Let's try it out. So you get your bowl. Yeah. So now you take all the cold stuff that they don't want to give vegans warm. So, oh, you want some tofu? Here, it's freezing cold. Enjoy, vegan. You'll eat anything. You could do your Beyond Meat if you feel up to it. Like, you're, like they're basically fingers, like sliced off mafia fingers. Um, you could take some artichokes. Make sure there's no cheese in it. All freezing cold for the vegan. I just want cilantro because, oh wait, there's cheese there. Let me avoid the cheese. Am I getting any cheese? Let me check this out. It looks all right. So, so far we have cilantro, beyond meat, and, and <laughs> tofu. tofu. Okay, now we need our veggies. So your kale, which is usually like completely depleted here. So I'm happy that they have it. Get plenty of that. All right. Now you have your freezing cold vegan food because vegans don't deserve anything but freezing cold food. And now we're going to make it warm. Oh my god, how's it going to happen? So you take the last of the broccoli, which is warm, and you put it on your freezing cold vegan options. Move that a little bit so those can get warm too. So now your kale's kind of warm. Now you take, um, looks like they, they kept the potatoes vegan, which is very kind, your potatoes and start putting it all over the cold stuff. And then last but not least, you take your curry, which they've had the same one for like 45 years, and you just put it on your tofu and um, your tofu and Beyond Meat, and it warms it. And now you have an almost, you have almost warm food at Whole Foods. My eyes are up here. Like once in a while, Whole Foods will bless us with a vegan soup, and you can also put the soup on top to make it warm. It's amazing. And now that everything's nice and warm, we can go and garnish. Garnish. I like radishes because they're really pretty. So now you have this beautiful radish, just a little bit of red cabbage, just for, to make it beautiful. And then um, I like edamame a lot. They have a roasted edamame around the bin. So they finally gave us a new shaker. Finally, after like months of petitioning, we got the nutritional use shaker, new shaker. And then, but here's the thing, the nooch won't come out because the holes are so small. So they put these other three big holes, but it doesn't really cut it. They keep you down. Don't go vegan. We have to guess how much that's going to cost. Yes, I'm going to say it's uh, $13. I was like $11.95. All right, let's see. Let's find who, out. Who overbid? Oh, one thing, you have to have like one and a half hour conversations with the cashiers here. It's like, how's your weekend? What are you doing? How's your family? Right. Got any good plans for tonight? Why do you film like that? Because it's like... Blair Witch. It's not look interesting. At the, look at the background. The it's background. not good for me. Look at Hey! Look how much, now I'm beautiful. This is Do down, do down. Ugly, weird, weird, weird neck, fat cheeks, beautiful, getting prettier. Oh my God, Miss America, look at me. It came to 14.86, that's uh, that was, you won. But here's what we got. This is gonna do something incredibly brave. It's for the cause. Hey, right, this is how much kale I could put in my mouth. Let's get it all. This is how much kale. Kale, yeah. Oh, 
can't do any more vlogs.